Hey everyone and welcome back to another explanation video where today I'm going to explain how I filmed and edited my latest beer commercial. Before diving into the video I would like to give a quick shout out to James Kelly who inspired this commercial. He's a great content creator and undoubtedly very underrated for the stuff that he creates. Links down in the description. Back to the video. Rather than using a green screen I decided to display some stock footage on my TV and use that as a background instead. To rotate the beer I used a DIY turntable and placed two books which had black leather covers as well as a glass sheet and the beer itself. When rotating the beer I stumbled upon a slight problem, my reflection, which meant that I had to improvise. The main idea for this video was to make the lion come to life. To do this I had to recreate the lion on Adobe Illustrator and change his pose a couple of times. Preferably I should have drawn 12 different poses so I'd have 12 frames of him going up and 12 frames of him going back down, giving me a nice smooth 24 frames per second stop motion. However that was too much work for something that I'm creating just for fun, so I settled for 4 illustrations giving me an 8 frames per second clip. The first few seconds of the video are very simple. I used one of the rotation clips and keyframe the position and size to make it seem as though the beer is floating into frame. To increase this effect, I masked the surface and darkened it to the point where it blended in with the background. To transition into the clip where the line comes to life, I actually transitioned from a video to a close-up photo of the beer. I added a motion blur and quickly enlarged it to match the size of the beer in the close-up photo. I took the image onto Photoshop and cropped out the Lion logo so that I'll be able to paste the illustrations onto it in Premiere Pro. However, using a close-up image of the beer meant that the background was going to be static. So to combat this, I took a close-up video of the beer, placed it under the image and masked out the beer can. After the line comes to life, I repeated the same process that I did in the beginning, where this time, instead of zooming in, we're actually zooming out. I moved the bottle to the left, popped some text according to the music's beat, and added some sound design to complete the video. Guys, I really enjoyed editing this commercial, especially since I was trying something new. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it too, and if you did, then slap that like button, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.